a huge phobia about dancing. And now I can dance and I'm doing dance classes in groups. <laughs> Public Acts is the National Theatre's community programme. We exist to create extraordinary acts of theatre and community across the country. At the heart of the project is the very simple idea of connection between people, community organisations and theatres. Our founding theatre partner was Queen's Theatre Hornchurch, who we worked with for the first two years. And since 2019, we have been working with our new partner, Cast, in Doncaster. I think we're still learning about the impact of the project and Helen Nicholson's research has been so essential in helping us begin to understand that. It seemed to me like an opportunity to really think through what happens when a major internationally known building-based theatre like The National extends itself in all kinds of different ways into its local community but also into the community nationwide. We spend the first part of the cycle delivering bespoke workshops in our community settings with our community partners. We didn't know what to expect. There was an element of just leaping in but the thing that hooked me was as a real sense of possibility. Well, particularly I, I wanted to get fit because I'd become very unfit because of bereavements and eating issues and depression. And I knew I had to do something to, to get out of it. For the second half of the programme, we bring everybody together as one united company to create a huge, spectacular show on the main stage of the theatre with a team of professional artists. In one of the rehearsals, we had like these big wings. <laughs> I felt like we were little furries. <laughs> we all were in our, in our five-year-old selves, like just having fun. So that was, that was really good. Opening night, the energy. Wow, we'd come so far. And by this stage, we had almost become a single being. I remember at the end of As You Like It at Queen's Theatre Horn Church, and we were singing our last song. We had this like choreography for Still Our Love, and just seeing in the um, bays, the production team, costume team, they were doing it with us. I'm surprised that such a thing is possible, that it's possible to bring communities of people with no experience together to do something as great as Pericles and as you like it. One of the most striking things that was said to me from our community members was that it makes you want more for yourself and your life because you will always know that you did that, that you were able to come together and be part of something that felt so good and so important. What surprised me about myself was I had never imagined that I would be doing something like that ever. I just ha it just hadn't even crossed my imagination. I think confidence was the biggest thing. We were stepping forward for things, we were suggesting things. One thing that I feel like I can do now that I couldn't do before is like speaking outwardly in different arenas. I feel like it's something I feel more confident to do. I'm not as stressed. I always say to myself, if I can be on the Olivier, then I can do it, <laughs> you know? I was so scared in the beginning. There was a feeling in the middle where I realised I was managing to put it together. I can do that. Someone who's late 60s, who's never done anything like this before, never performed dance, it's given me a confidence. It carries on in me in a confidence much bigger than I ever had before. I'm 10 years younger. <laughs> It's been really exciting to learn from our community partners about how the project has helped them evolve or change their attitude about the role of theatre in delivering their social missions. I think what they all shared was a, a real interest in long-term partners with arts organisations, either ones that are local to them or major national organisations. And that seems to me to be the sustainability of public acts, that it's about expanding arts provision in all kinds of community partners and for them to really find what works for them and to have the confidence to ask for it. You know the community started with Pericles, it grew with As You Like It, it's grown with Doncaster and the truth is we all feel like we're part of one company regardless of the geographical difference. It's huge just very big extended <laughs> family or just like community and friends and the mama bears, the papa bears, the like kids and the cousins. I hope this really continues all around the country. 
I hope it goes on for years and years so that many more people can get this experience. I totally believe it's a movement. It's a radical movement. It's transformative, it's personal, but it's also collective. Long may it continue, that's what I can say. <laughs>